looking around the front of the hives, right in front, risking getting stung in the face. And I'm looking at hive number one, and I see something wonderful. I see a whole lot of bees clustered up the bottom of the hive, hanging onto the bottom of the frames in there, which means they're ready to come out as soon as it gets a little warmer. Hive number 11, no action there right now. So they're probably in the center of the hive or up towards the sugar syrup. And I'm looking at hive number nine. No action there yet, but it'll happen. Something super cool. This hive number one last year was a giant colony. And the queen was Alaskan sent down to California to be bred, and then flown back up here. And she produced wonderfully all season long. And from her, I got three splits. Splits are other colonies that came off because the population was so high in her hive. And so I pulled the frames that had kept brood and stuck them into another frame along with the queen cells that were hanging onto the bottoms. And those queen cells hatched, and it happened early enough in the season that those virgin queens that were born in Alaska had time to breed. So I have a mother hive with the original queen that was bred in California, and then I have three other colonies that are daughter hives of her. So those three additional colonies all have queens that were born in Alaska, have never seen California. And it was early enough in the season where they were able to mate with drones in the area and become fertilized and laid their own eggs and produce bees right in the midsummer and then more winter bees towards fall. So it's pretty cool that I've got three colonies that have never seen California. It means the genetics are good with this queen. I did go in and when I made those splits, I marked the virgin queens. I find it easier to find queens that are marked than unmarked. So I'm hopeful that this year I'll get some more splits off that strong mother hive and hopefully get some splits off those daughter hives. That's enough for today. Have a good day.